Hello, tubers! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, and welcome to Cooper's Tie Adventures. Hello, folks. Uh, today I thought I would talk about a couple budgets. Um, one of them I would say is a max budget. Uh, probably for two people, um, you know, typical age, probably 50 plus, and uh, looking at a real nice lifestyle in Thailand. What could they, uh, you know, expect to spend? Uh, the second part is uh, a minimalistic budget. Bare bones, uh, you know, no fat in the budget, so to speak, and uh, probably for a single person. Um, but anyways, uh, starting off, uh, by the way, uh, I fall in the middle of these two, as I've, you've seen on a prior video. So if you're interested in what I spend, you can go back and check it out. Um, the max budget. I've met uh, subscribers, uh, people that uh, have uh, been here a while and are in a very nice condo. And, you know, I talk to them and they're quite open in what they spend on a, on a monthly budget there. And typically, I would say 35,000 baht to 45,000 baht. I'll be speaking in baht and then I'll do a conversion to US, for example. Uh, would give them uh, a really nice condo unit. Fair good size in a typically a high rise building with probably beach views. So that's, uh, that's what you could expect to pay on that. Um, as well as with that, for accommodation, I lump in the electric costs, the water, the Wi-Fi cable, and uh, subscriptions. And what I mean by that, I like the NFL, so I want to subscribe to that. I do, and that's a you know a little extra. Um, but anyways, outside the thirty-five to forty-five for your rental, I'm budgeting five to ten thousand baht for all those others, meaning the electric bill, the water bill your Wi-Fi, your cable, and any subscriptions you want, whether it's Netflix or, you know, Hulu or those other ones. But as a ballpark, I put in 50,000 baht for all of that. Um, you know, some could be a little more. There obviously are. Some would be a little less. If you have the kind of money and you can pay up front for a year, you're typically going to get a better deal. So that can be a way to save some money if you're so inclined. Um, but that's probably the biggest expense you'll spend here is on your accommodation. Compared to the West, however, even at 50,000, so if I use a conversion of three to one on the US dollar, that's like 1,500 American. And boy, you can't get too much in a, you know, a beach view condominium, fairly new probably with a beautiful view for that kind of money. So you can see the savings of being here with that. Um, the next biggest cost I, uh, would put in there would be, and this is kind of fixed, would be transportation costs. And personally, I do rent a scooter, which I find um, good enough for me. But typically a person or a couple looking at that type of uh, lifestyle probably wants a, a nice vehicle. And uh, I budgeted uh, 20,000 baht a month. So you're about $600 a month. You're gonna be able to lease um, probably a fairly big SUV like a Toyota. Fortuna, something like that. Um, yeah, it might be a year or two old. Uh, if you have the wherewithal to buy it, you know, then you obviously eliminate that expense. But for 20,000 baht, you're going to be able to rent a nice vehicle here. Um, and again, if you sign a contract for a year, you probably even get a little better rate than that. Uh, I've seen them as, as low as uh, 9,000 baht a month for, it'd be a mini car and who knows, you know, there might be a little bit added on, but you know, that's kind of like your bottom end for that. But for 20,000 baht, you certainly should be able to lease a nice vehicle here. Um, I'm again, a believer in leasing versus ownership in this country. Um, I've been here six months, maybe after a year I'll think differently, but for now I prefer just leasing. So maybe this is more geared to someone, hey, let's try out this retirement in Thailand. We'll give it a year, maybe two, and decide if we do want to, you know, invest heavily in the infrastructure, like buying condos and that, but, uh, or vehicles. Uh, fuel insurance, I added another 5,000 a month. Um, that's about 150 bucks a month on average, and that should well cover your fuel. Fuel here as a matter of interest is around, uh, 
a little over a dollar a liter. And I know in Canada it's double that. In the States it's up, uh, you know, uh, about the same. So there you go. Uh, and so that total on your transportation cost would be 25,000 uh, baht. So uh, next expense on my list uh, is healthcare. And uh, healthcare here, there's many, many plans. You have many options for deductibles. Basically any age can be covered and any condition can be covered. You might have, uh, you know, if you've got pre-existing conditions, you're probably going to have to get uh, a doctor checkup and they could be, you know, um, addressed uh, in the premium. Uh, whether they'd be covered or not, that's, you'd have to discuss that. But uh, it definitely, the plans are here and available. Um, now for two people, I budgeted uh, 10,000 baht a month. So that's um, around $300 a month. So $3,600 a year premium for two people. Uh, you know, decent health, average condition, that should well cover you. Again, you can adjust that premium with uh, deductibles. Personally, I do a $40,000 deductible. You can go up to 200,000 is the most I looked at. But, uh, and then they have zero deductible as well. So. Um, that's, uh, that's another expense that I put in. Um, now food here is the next line item. And, uh, for two people, I've budgeted 10,000 baht a month. That's 300 bucks a month, roughly $75 a week. Food here is, I don't find it as expensive as the West. Um, so a couple like this, that should be ample to cover their food choices. However, I've also added in a line for eating out, dining out. And uh, that's probably where most people at this stage might want to go. And that's for uh, a lot of nice meals. And uh, I've budgeted in there 20 to 25 meals a month out. So, you know, that's uh, five to six meals a, a week eating out at nice restaurants. And uh, what would you budget for that? Um, I put it at a thousand uh bought a, a meal so 25,000 so if you do 20 meals you got like 12.50 per meal an example of that is uh we just ate out at Fraser's last night uh Jackie myself um boy two great meals uh filled you right up full tank I call it uh, a couple of drinks for the ladies nice lady drinks and a couple beers for myself and the whole bill was 888 bought so like 25 dollars a little under that's fantastic. It would have been triple that in the West uh, if I was back home. So the, and their food is fantastic here, as you're probably all aware. So eating out is um, like a real treat and uh, I enjoy it. I do it not as often as I budgeted for here, but uh, definitely more than the minimal budget is going to show you. But uh, so, so that's 25,000. Um, obviously you need some entertainment and spending money. And I threw in there uh, 10,000 a week. So about 45,000 for the month. And uh, you know, entertainment. Okay, you want to do some bowling or you're going to join a badminton club or you want to you know, join a gym, say, example, um, take in a few shows, uh, you know, and just walk around money. So that's 45,000, 10,000 a week should be fine. Um, uh, travel budget. I like putting that in because, uh, you know, you're in Southeast Asia. Um, Cooper and I talked about maybe driving to uh, Kuala Lumpur. Uh, there's Vietnam's close by, obviously Laos, uh, Cambodia. There's other countries that, uh, you know, and with a vehicle, you can actually drive to these locations, which is interesting. Um, so I put a budget of 15,000 a month, but you probably, maybe I'm figuring I'd do a, you know, if I looked at myself in this budget, maybe every three to four months, I would take a trip and I should have enough saved with the budget to do that and see a different country for probably, you know, anywhere from three days to a week. Um, uh, next line item is uh, what I put in as a tech upgrade. You know, I put 5,000 baht a month. So that's what, uh, 60,000 baht a year, about 1,800 bucks. So if you do want a new iPhone once a year, why would you? <laughs> My phone's three years old, still working great. But you've got a budget in there for your technology, whether it's going to be an iPad or an iPhone or a laptop of some sort. So a uh, little, little extra in there. And then I believe in savings and savings and miscellaneous. I threw in 15,000 baht. So, you know, 450 a month you're saving and, uh, you know, that'll give you something to 
invest in or keep as an emergency even. And that total works out about 200,000 baht a, a month. So what is that? That's about 6,000, I figured, US. Um, I know people here that actually make more than that on pensions and they're not probably spending anywhere near that, but uh, obviously saving a lot more. <laughs> Uh, but that, if you're in that category, whether it's through your pensions or your investment income and you're generating that kind of income, you can look at a, what I would say is a top of the line lifestyle here. And that's without owning anything. This is simply doing your rentals and uh, keeping your money invested. Um, things I left out, obviously, you know, you're going to need some startup money to cover your visas and, uh, you know, whatever purchases you decided to make. Um, so I've kind of left that out, but that gives you, I think, a pretty uh, realistic budget. Now, would I spend that kind of money? Uh, no, that's not my nature. You know, I'm needs and wants type of guy. But if you have that and you're used to that type of lifestyle, you're going to have a fantastic life here on a budget like that and not have to worry about money. Um, anyways, that's the max budget, I call it. Now... What's the minimum budget look like? <laughs> okay, probably a single person and, uh, you know, maybe they're younger. Maybe they want to come here when they're 40 or, you know, 40 to 50 type of thing and uh, different circumstances in life. Maybe that's what they can afford. But accommodations here, um, I've seen nice places for as low as 7,000. Um, I spend 10, so I put 7 to 10 in that range. With your utilities, Wi-Fi, cable, another two to three. So, I, you know, I'm spending 10 total. Um, my electric's a little, obviously, more than that. So water, so it's about 13, and I've got a subscription. So I might be around 14,000 a month. Uh, but I budgeted 10 for the, the minimal budget, and it's doable here. Um, you're not going to get anything close to what the big guys are getting, but it's going to be a nice unit, and, and um, that'll you could budget on that. Uh, transportation, I would say at a minimal one. And so I kind of look at this minimal budget. Hey, could I do that if I had to? You know, and my answer is, yeah. So I would look at, forget the scooter, forget a car. The bot bus is here. You could travel to somewhere every day and back every day, you know, every day of the month for like 600 baht. So that's pretty reasonable. Um, sure, I'd want to bolt for a couple times a month. Um, you know, if you did it once a week even, you'd be about another 1,400 baht, and that's there and back. And where would that be? That'd be to, you know, getting a big amount of groceries once, uh, twice a month, whatever, or, you know, somewhere emergency like a hospital or whatever, you'd, you know, you'd have that. But um, So that's like 2,000 for your transportation. Uh, your food, uh, I put 4,000 baht for the month, so that's uh, about $120 a month. Um, food, again, here is fairly reasonable. Um, you know, your fresh fruits, your vegetables, uh, even your meats aren't out of line. Your, you know, macro sells uh, lots of, you know, good foods, good meats for that. Um, so that, that would do. You're going to want some spending money. You're going to want to eat out. You know, um, it's not going to be anything like, you know, flamboyant but uh, I just put in 300 baht a day so about 9,000 baht for the month now 300 baht a day like I can have a meal the, the kebabs like 80 baht just an example and boy that's now you're not going to have three meals a day of that but you know there's uh, chicken you can buy you can buy rice you can buy whatever you want and you're you know like 100 baht's going to fill you so if you got 300 baht a day you know you can at least um enjoy some of that um, and that total is 25,000 baht so what is that about 750 bucks a month now there's several things in here I'm going to address right up front uh, there's no health care so either you've got health care coverage through a plan at work or you know you're just going to self-insure which is uh, I don't recommend god bless <laughs> you better be healthy but um, that's not included. Uh, obviously, there's no savings, there's no travel expense, there's no tech upgrades. So that's definitely a bare minimum. But, you know, uh, I, could see, I could see a young person getting by on that. Um, you'd still want some startup money. You'd need to look after your visas coming here. So hopefully you've got some startup money there. But that's a minimum. And, you know, to be honest, I don't think anybody should count on that. 
uh, I spend about $1,700 uh, US a month. So that's about 60,000, but no, 50, about 80, yeah, about 50, 55 to 60,000 baht a month. And I live comfortably. I do the eating out, you know, not six times a week, but probably at least two or three. Um, and I do entertainment and I do, you know, do um, most of the other stuff, just not as much involved. So um, <clears throat> that's, uh, that's kind of a minimum to a maximum. Most people obviously would fall somewhere in the middle. And uh, um, yeah, so anyways, that's uh, what I wanted to cover today uh, as to budgeting and uh, what you could expect living here. Now, over and above all that, I would just like to add that, uh, you know, money can't buy happiness. So, you know, uh, I, I like a nice climate. You can, you can actually eat well here and be healthy. You're in a great place uh, in Thailand with happy people and uh, you don't have the drama maybe you do in the West. Uh, we're fairly, you know, I think isolated, but that's good because, you know, I don't listen to the news. I, there's nothing, there's no good news out there. So my point of that is uh, happiness. You want to be happy. Hey, find happy people, hang around happy people. And uh, if you can live a lifestyle here and, you know, get more happiness in life, you don't necessarily need a lot of money to do that. So, uh, yeah, think about that. Uh, I know a lot of people, myself included, I was in the West and I was putting up with all that stuff on a, a higher budget than I am on here. And I just find myself a lot more happier here on a lot lower uh, budget with a, a similar standard of living, let's say. Well, thanks for watching our video today. Uh, if it was of uh, help, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel and uh, as well, tell your friends. And uh, until next week, stay safe.